In recent years, many scientists like Dario Tedesco have been studying the lava, trying to understand why it flows so fast and whether future eruptions can be predicted. It's really completely different from other volcano. It really is unique. There are so many secrets on this volcano that you don't get from the other volcanoes. And Nira Gongo offers a unique opportunity because sitting in its crater is the world's largest lava lake. Usually magma, the molten rock inside a volcano, collects in reservoirs far below the Earth's surface, where it's almost impossible to study. But here, it's sitting right out in the open. Dario's team are trying to collect a sample of fresh lava from the lake, but it's a long way down. The crater is deep enough to bury the Empire State Building. They stop halfway. As the lake is so active, they decide to get a sample from a safer distance, 600 meters away. But while they're setting up, Dario spots someone else, much closer to the boiling hot lake. It is dangerous in my opinion, it is a little crazy. I mean, I won't do that. C'est pas la peine de rester là pour si longtemps. Ça fait déjà cinq minutes. C'est très dangereux. It seems an extraordinary risk. But back in the lab, analysis of samples like these by geologist Tom Dara is giving real insight into why it's so deadly. The composition of Mount Niragongo's lavas are both complex and mysterious. The lava I'm holding in my hand from Mount Niragongo is effectively a time capsule of the Earth's history. When the sample is heated and analyzed, scientists discovered a composition of the chemicals strontium and neodymium that's only found in one other place. Ancient asteroids. They think this lava contains traces of the ancient rocks that formed the Earth four billion years ago. The only way it could have this signature is if its origins lie deep within the planet. The gases we, that we analyze tell us that this, law, this volcano is sourced from a very deep location within the Earth. The source has to be somewhere well below the Earth's crust. In fact, scientists believe there's a huge upwelling of intense heat. A mantle plume rising up from deep under this part of East Africa. It's the way this hotspot interacts with the Earth's mantle that generates a magma that's very low in silica. 